Namaste. Now we are going to talk about health management and the natural rhythm of life in Ayurvedic sense. Ayurveda usually is seen in the West as a means of getting good massage and also detoxification, panchakarma, rejuvenation and uh, good nutrition, natural nutrition, all the stuff. Here we are going to start with Ayurveda with one of its main concepts, one of its main core foundations that is the um, principle of rhythm. Ritu is the Sanskrit word which probably the word rhythm in English derived and it means the natural law of existence. When you follow the rhythm of life, like in the uh, Lion King, <laughs> uh, things go well in life, healthy. When do you break this rhythm, uh, you get sick. So in Ayurveda we use a lot of uh, natural herbs and uh, massage and natural uh, methods of uh, treatment but the most important um, means to get healthy in Ayurveda is to follow the proper rhythm of life the rhythm of prana, the life force here we are not going to talk a lot about the life force itself now we can only uh, think it as a principle that when we are alive it's working in our body when we are dead it's not working more in our body well, well um, in Ayurveda we have a close relation to the sun when the sun starts its journey in, our, in the place we live in the east our metabolic functions start to arise when the, the sun is at noon our metabolic functions are more strong and when the sun is in sunset our metabolic fun functions are going um, low in this way in Ayurveda there is a, a conjoint movement of energies since we wake up after three hours more or less than after we wake up our body is a little bit warmed up. After six, seven hours, it's on the peak of its activity. After like 10 hours, it's getting tired. And after 12, 14 hours, it's getting uh, some need to rest and this kind of stuff. So in um, modern world, for Ayurvedic perspective, the most interesting thing is to get um, get up early in the morning just before the sunset look if you are in Norway and it's like winter this is going to be a little <laughs> difficult but the point is that if we suppose just as a supposition that the sun is going uh, awaking the sunrise is like 6 a.m and the sunset is 6 p.m. as in the equator line just to put a just like a draw uh, framework we should wake up like 5 5 30 one hour prior to the sunset and we should go to sleep two hours three hours after the sunset this means in this timing that we spoke that we should awake like 5 a.m and should go to sleep at 8, 9 maximum p.m. This is very different from what is the most used to our westernized culture of using electricity and this kind of stuff. But if you find out a place where there is no electricity, it's going to be very easy to see that the nature around you goes to sleep around the sunset and awakes around the sunrise this movement is closely related to the ritual to the rhythm of life 
If you can follow this daily routine, it's going to be very, very helpful for your uh, digestive system, for your immune system, for your health as a general principle. Because Ayurveda works along with the sun. If the sun is on its peak at noon, it's the time to have the most uh, substantial, the most uh, nutritious meal in the day. In the West, a lot of people believe that we should have the main meal in the morning, in the early morning. This in Ayurveda is completely, probably for everyone, wrong. In Ayurveda, we should wake up, take some uh, time to get a little bit of stretches and this kind of stuff, and then usually drink some water, warm water, or coconut water, it depends. Uh, I'm not giving you the guidelines for you that is watching now. I'm giving the general concept that some of these things are going to be workful for you. But at this we can look in a more precise manner in your consultation, don't worry, okay? So in the morning, the first thing is to do some stretches to have some um, pleasant um, liquid inside you. So this can help you to have a toy, um, bowel movement and go to the toilet. This is very, very important to our health. We are going to explain the whys of it just in few videos. But we start the day going to the toilet and having our bowel movements. As a general guideline principle, this is how we do. After this, we can do some gymnastics and we can have a little bit of physical exercise. And after we feel hungry, only after we feel hungry, we take breakfast. And this breakfast is supposed to be usually light, not like a king, much more like, a, not also as a prince, a humble breakfast, but it can be as big as your hunger can digest it. It can be like 7 a.m. if needed, and like 10 a.m. when there is a second stage of metabolic action in our body that is more intense, that is more digestive uh, strength, it can go to a more uh, sound meal. Maybe you can go without breakfast till 10 a.m., 9 a.m. But the most important thing here is that the lunch around noon, around 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 11 a.m., is going to be the main meal of the day of the day as a rule thumb rule. This is not a hundred percent rule. Anything in Ayurveda is subject to what is going with the person at that moment. But as a general rule, the main meal of the day is going to be the lunch, and it's going to have different uh, components, different principles. We are going to speak about it maybe two or three videos ahead and then in the afternoon after two or three hours or four hours or maybe five hours when you feel hungry again it's going to be the time to have a more unctuous and more uh, uh, carbohydrated uh, meal with a lot of um, healthy sugars and uh, this kind of stuff so we can have nutrition to our brain and our senses that are more depleted of the stress of daily usage of the senses. It's the chocolate time. <laughs> or it's the tea time, the British tea time that the British uh, have learned in India, probably. But it's very consonant with the Ayurvedic guidelines of what to do around 4 or 5 p.m before the sunset, one, two, three hours before the sunset, three, four hours after lunch, around that. In this time, there is going to be the need to have more oil, oily, good oily meals with a lot of good sugar also. And it's not going to be the proper time to have uh, light and very dry meals like these bars, fruit bars and cereal bars. 
this is going to be very bad for the system in that moment. I know that it sounds like crazy idea, uh, according to our, maybe our nutrition concepts, Western ones, but okay, don't worry, it's going to make sense as we go on. After this uh, afternoon lunch, we are going for the dinner. It's not actually a dinner in a full meal sense, it's a soup. <laughs> <laughs> this means that if you have um, worked out this schedule as we are talking, in the end of the day, we are you are not going to be feeling very hungry. Of course, if you go to the gym in the afternoon or in the morning and you they have to do a lot of changes, I'm not making a cage here that you're going to be in prison. I'm just putting the framework in the wall so we can start to work some general guidelines, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> because in Ayurveda, even if we have a general principle of what is good, your current state, it has to be developed to the other perfect state. Even if it's not going to this specific perfect state, it's going to be to another. The point is that in this perfect state, you're going to be healthy, you're going to be um, more prone to be uh, willing to have uh, mental quietness and peacefulness and this is going to be the doorstep to spiritual uh, interests and activities. I'm not saying only religious stuff, it can be going to the nature and feeling connected to life. Spirituality here is going to be understood as a feeling of connection, a feeling of integration, a feeling of being part of one bigger thing. It also can be the universe, it doesn't matter. So this concept of awakening uh, early morning and going to sleep early uh, night is going to be very, very important for our health management and also is going to um, create the rhythm of um, consonance between the sun, the nature, and our body, our digestive process. When these two wavelengths work together, they sum up and they work like synchronized. When they are clashing, they work like a storm and they are not very um, pleasant and also um, clear in our daily routine. We start to feel a little bit um, not well. This is okay. And uh, during the night before bed, we are going to have also specific routines to sleep well. But the main point is that the soup in the night, the dinner, is going to be light. It can be a sandwich. It can be a lot of things. Don't worry. But the point is that it's going to be light, so you can sleep without have uh, having the sensation of uh, being heavy and being congested before sleep, okay? So this is the first video about health management and um, the rhythm, the concept of rhythm in Ayurveda in our series Self-Healing Ayurveda Management by Tiago Namaste. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. And also if you want to have consultations, uh, coaching, Namaste coaching, just contact me at namaste.tiago at gmail.com. Namaste!